Hello! Welcome to another mini painting video. This week I am painting Louise Belcher from Bob's Burgers. I'm starting with her signature pink bunny ear hat. Um, she is wearing it in pretty much every episode of the show. Um, it's very pink, very important to her character, so I wanted to get that pink down right away as I was starting this painting. Um, this painting was a request from one of you folk in my Patreon subscriber pool uh, who is having a birthday this week. Happy birthday! Um, if you're watching this, I'm hoping you're having a good birthday. I believe you said your birthday was this coming weekend. Uh, so, happy birthday. I hope you're planning on something fun. Um, this is a slight departure from my regular par um, Patreon mini paintings because this is a Norman Rockwell parody. This is an ad that he did for Kraft Foods, uh, specifically for Parquet Margarine. Um, the original text in the upper left-hand corner said, The extra nourishing goodness of new parquet. Um, but for our sake, I turned it to the burger of the day, little Swiss bunshine, served on a butter bun, which is from season two, episode seven, Moody Foodie of Bob's Burgers, if you haven't watched it. Uh, and you're interested in those kind of geeky Easter eggs. Um, pretty much, I just wanted to do another parody. Um, it's been a while since I've been do since I've done a Norman Rockwell parody. Um, this one is not as complex as some of my others, so I figured it was a good prime candidate for a mini painting. Um, so let me know what you're thinking of the new format here. Um, if you want to see more of these strange shaped paintings or ones that are not quite eight and a half by eleven, um, I'm not saying I'm going to be doing a different shape or larger pieces every week, but for a birthday, if you have a birthday coming up or a special event, just send it to me in the comments below or um, shoot me a message and we can potentially uh, do something fun for you for your special event. Um, so, let's see, I'm just going through, I, I always love drawing faces and um, seeing kids' youth, um, and kids' youth, that's kind of redundant now that I'm saying it out loud, uh, but just the innocence of youth is what I meant to say. Um, and Rockwell really does capture that uh, almost sense of wonder coming from uh, children's eyes. Um, the original had this buttered muffin dripping butter on to uh, so she sticks out her tongue to catch the butter. Um, so I had to change it, obviously, into a uh, really messy burger. Um, specifically, some dripping Swiss cheese was my choice for what to be dripping off of it. Um, it is a buttered bun, so I figure it's a nice nod to Parquet. Norman Rockwell, at this point in his career, wasn't doing a lot of advertising work because he was getting so many requests for it. Uh, he would get um, them fairly frequently, and he claimed he would turn down pretty much every ten and then take one. Uh, but he was a fan of Kraft Foods, thought they made good products, and Kraft Foods was definitely a fan of him because he screams wholesomeness and that is something that Kraft Food strives to be, it's wholesome. This is not paid for by Kraft Foods in any way. I just read that somewhere in a book. <laughs> I thought you guys might get a kick out of that. Um, so as I'm, I'm following Rockwell's palette as closely as I can with um, the child's portrait here. Uh, the kid in the original is Redhead. Um, and Louise is not a redhead, uh, so that was changed, and, uh, just trying to build up value slowly. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I'm building up some slight darker tones in the back of a bunny hood. Um, I did 
not truly freehand the text in the upper left hand corner. I left that to do last. I did lightbox the text. I, I'm not going to be using a ruler or anything when I'm inking it because imperfections are fine, but my regular handwriting is atrocious. <laughs> so I don't want to uh, freehand a um, font for you guys. So I did lightbox that. Uh, I think I'm about to start working on, yeah, I'm gonna start working on the messy burger. So I'm starting working on the bun uh, and the cheese, which was really extra melty and reflecty. Uh, I had to do different colors for the two different cheeses here. And I started experimenting with some really light colored greens for uh, the lettuce, because lettuce is not actually bright green, it's very pale green at times. And slowly building up the darker greens as it further went back. Um, same thing with the tomato. I started with a fairly middle value red and then started building up that darker and darker with red. I really wanted this burger to look juicy and glazed and um, delicious, even though I'm not actually a fan of burgers. I, I can't really stand the texture, but uh, enough about my food problems. That's not really important here. It's just... Uh, kind of funny that I'm trying to make something look delicious that I actually don't find delicious. Uh, I don't know if you find that at all interesting, but to me it's interesting. So I'm darkening the cheese and darkening the beefy patty, and, um, and then I believe I'm going to start inking the lettering here, just making that bun look extra glazed with butter, adding some more yellow. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to grab a pen and start inking the lettering. As I said, freehanding it. Uh, I saved it for last because fonts are always... Uh, they're not hard to do. They're, they just take a lot of concentration, and I find that my hand cramps up because I'm trying to control things um, very precisely. And uh, it's not perfect. It's pretty close to the font that I started with. But... Uh, my tip when I'm drawing fonts like this is to take a take a pen that is the thickest, closest thickness to the font that you're trying to work at. Uh, this one specifically had some thin and thick areas, and so I had to pick um, a fresh pen that was flowing ink well um, that I could run back and forth pretty quickly to get some of the thicker lines without scribbling back and forth so long. The bottom line of text was all done without much thickness change at all. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you think this is a cool format. If you want to see more stuff of different sizes, uh, more parody paintings, more Rockwell. I do have a Rockwell in mind for the rest of the Belcher family and more Bob's Burgers. Let me know if you want to see that. Uh, thank you for being a Patreon subscriber, and until next week, uh, so long. Thanks.